please stand for a moment of silence, followed by the pledge. And now the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back to the September 10th edition of the Daily Growl. I'm Jacob. And I'm Billy. Happy Swap Ideas Day. Let's be honest, you can't think of everything. It hurts to bounce ideas off your fellow man. Who knows, you could be the, or you could be the one to come up with the next big thing. Try it. On this day in 2001, Franklin D. Roosevelt starts a gasoline ration in the U.S. as a part of the country's wartime efforts. You guys, could, you guys would have to carpool or something. Could you imagine that? Also, in 2012, Serena Williams wins the U.S. Open, and the world didn't freeze like the Incans thought. However, we thank you, Jake Gyllenhaal, for your efforts. Speaking of supercells, the weather today here will be, slightly, or will be scattered thunderstorms, again with a high of 89 and a low of 76, and only a 60% chance of rain considerably cooler compared to last week. If you're going to the game, bring a poncho and your mask. We'd like to wish a happy birthday today to William Carpenter, Matthew Combs, Alex Doss, Emily Rollerson, and Michael Tate. Really hope you guys have a wonderful birthday today. And also, a shout out to birthday to Mr. Pape today. Happy birthday. Speaking of shout out, seniors, don't forget about your senior shout out this year for the yearbook. Look for details on Daily Growl TV that includes what info you need to send and who to send it to. Also, on the subject of yearbooks, you can pre-order your yearbook at yearbookordercenter.com now and get it at a discounted rate. The price will go up later. Senior badges are $5. If you missed it, see Mr. Hartley in room 529. Current beta members, stop by room 1201 for your mandatory club form. Return that form to Miss Smith with your $10 dues. If you, if you sold lollipops last spring, your dues are covered. Upperclassmen, if you have a 3.5 unweighted GPA and want to be invent, invited to join Beta, see Miss Smith. There will also be Letterman jacket fitting on October 2nd at 819. Make sure you're there on time. It'll be right after first period in the cafetorium. Once again, for clarification, that's the cafetorium. Yes. Students, are you interested in becoming a teacher? Do you like working with kids? Join the Future Educators Club. Dues are $20 and include a t-shirt. See Miss Smith or Miss Fly for more information. Club day is September 16th. Don't forget, any student wishing to join the History Club can sign up with Mr. Hartley, room 529, or Miss Garber, room 1522. The dues are $10. Club day is next week. If you missed the news, you can watch us by clicking on the link on our bio and Instagram. At Daily Grout TV. It's that easy, just like peanut butter and jelly. Hi-Q is the Academic Scholastic Knowledge Competition team. Dues are $10. See Mr. Bryant, room 701, for more details. First match is in October. Get your pop sockets, pop socket blowout sale, limited quantities, $5 each while supplies last. Support girls weightlifting. See Coach McDonald for more info. Make sure to keep up to date with all that's going on by visiting bchs.bakerk12.org and clicking on the calendar. We'll post on Daily Grout TV social media about important info all this year. So follow us today on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Wildcat Volleyball is back in action on Thursday. There will be a matchup against Trinity. Bring home the W, ladies. Ticket information for, for this event at Trinity can be found on Daily Growl social media. You'll need to order a mobile ticket to get into this event. The Swim Cats are back this week as well and took on, down Swanee on Tuesday. Thursday, they will take on the Warriors of West Nassau and Middleburg in search of more swim domination. Let's get it, Cats. They'll be at the Y Pool in McClinney Thursday afternoon. Thursday will also be the JV football opener at home versus Orange Park, a precursor to the Friday night game over in OP. Let's go JV, pave the way for varsity on Friday. As for varsity on Friday, players should have purchased their tickets for their families and friends with Coach Mays yesterday. There will not be a live stream, but you can watch the game via 97.5 WFBB on the radio or on the TuneIn app by searching WFBB. Today for lunch, following these simple rules will help us all. Clean up after yourself and stay in your assigned area. That's it. See, that wasn't so bad. Tomorrow morning, the JROTC will be doing a 9-11 flag folding ceremony before first period at the flagpole. They will be reading the events of what happened that day, how they happened, and a summary of how America changed afterwards. During all lunches, the ROTC will have a POW slash MIA table set up for the first responders in the cafetorium. There will be cadets standing near it, and they will be answering questions you may have. Ask questions. That's how you learn. That's it for today. We hope you have a Wednesday, Thursday, Wildcats. Thursday, Friday is coming. We'll see you tomorrow.